Thank you, uh, Madam President, dear colleagues. If anything became clear in these past weeks is that we have yet to discover uh, the full depth of this Pegasus spyware scandal. So it's very good and important that we have this debate here uh, today. And the three points I would like to make. First, that we cannot overemphasize the severity of this scandal. And I think it's important for all of us to try to imagine for one moment, to put yourself in the place of the victim, to try and imagine that every message you send to your loved ones is being read by the government, that every video you watch on your phone is being watched with you, that people who do not have your best interest at heart know your exact whereabouts at any given moment. This should already immensely scares you. It does scare me, but my fear is nothing compared to the fear of journalists scrutinizing not so democratic governments, of opposition politicians, activists, NGOs, lawyers, all those who are considered an inconvenience by the powers that be in their countries. And that is why it is important that this European Parliament will always stand behind and fight alongside the victims of these attacks and that we do so with strength and vigor. Because the effects of such attacks are wider than the direct victims. It has a chilling effect on anybody that wants to speak out, scrutinize governments and defend democracy and rule of law that wants to enjoy the democratic freedom of fighting an election in a free and fair manner. It directly undermines democracy and rule of law and it cannot go unchallenged. And this is why the inquiry committee that will be set up in this house is a very timely and important step. Second point I'd like to make is that this is not about national security. It is about rule of law. It is not about whether countries are allowed or not to use technology to fight organized crime and terrorism because technological innovation can and must play an important role in keeping us all safe. We already see that criminals and terrorists deploy more and more advanced technology and law enforcement needs to be able to fight them at least on a level playing field. But that, once again, is not what this is about. This is about the abuse of technology for political gain and about the complete absence of proper checks and balances. Thirdly, this is not only a Polish or a Hungarian issue, it is a European issue. In fact, it's a global issue. And we had a very interesting hearing from the EPP last week with experts and victims of the Pegasus scandal. And what struck me most was a comment by Polish lawyer Roman Girtik, himself a victim of the Polish government's abuse of Pegasus. And he said that this was not about the victims. The victims, in his words, are the canary in the coal mine. They are the first symptom. They are the warning of a much wider problem. They are an alarm that rings loudly for everyone to hear. And the EU now must show that we have heard this alarm and we must act upon the warning we have received and defend democracy and rule of law whenever and wherever necessary. Thank you.